morning. Good morning, sir. Sorry about the delay. No worries. Okay. Oh, how are you feeling today? Um. Okay. Yeah. Uh, today we're. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm. Uh, we're gonna have to cut it just a bit short. I need to go to the lawyer with my dad. Um, get uh, get some paperwork signed. Still haven't received a damn check. Still in transit. So when uh, when are they moving out? Oh, uh, well, um, it's a couple of things that need to be set up in the new condo. So I'm I'm gonna try to plan the moving day today. That's another thing of, like, for me to do. Right. So uh, we'll yeah. It's 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 been it's been quite hectic. I have to say. Yeah. It's been quite hectic. Moving moving yourself and stuff is stressful. Yes. Doing it for somebody else is even more stressful. <laughs> it's, it's true. That's true. Yeah. I got uh, sidetracked yesterday with a fun little project. Oh, yeah? What'd you do? I'll show you here. So here's my store. This is on spring tea. Mm -hmm. Holy mother of God. That is, that is, yeah, that is something. And I got, I got a few more designs to put on here, but uh, yeah, anyway. So, by is, the end, so uh, how long did that take you? Uh, well, I'd done all the designs previously. So uh, I spent maybe an hour, hour and a half kind of uploading things and tweaking them. And part of the problem they have is they have such a variety of stuff, like just uh -huh. in t-shirts. It's like for, for like men's shirts, there's probably like a dozen different styles, like, you know, different blends, different fits different i don't know v-neck crew neck loose fit tight fit 100 percent cotton i don't know there's just so many options that you kind of get lost a little bit but uh and anyway. this is all now available through your site well it's so their site you basically just it's kind of like uh using i don't know if you ever use vista print like you just you know pick the product you want upload an image and add it to your listings mm -hmm. And so they, all of that gets built for you. Um, so I, I will eventually put it on both my team UIP site and my coaching please.com site. Um, and then you can promote it through your social media and stuff. I I'm ordering samples of uh, four or five shirts. Um, and then I've got a, a, a clarity live weekend coming up October 2nd and 3rd. So of course, strategically, I'm going to be wearing my shirts for the uh, the Clary Live weekend when you're on with all these coaches and stuff. And yeah, that's um... I'll start wearing them for any time I'm on camera. I'll be wearing uh, one of my shirts. So that's clever. So you that can make is, that is clever. You make like eight to ten bucks a shirt. Yeah, as long as you can drive traffic to them. So we'll see. I mean, these these stuff these designs appeal to a very narrow audience or specific mm -hmm. audience, which is actually what you want. Um, so it's it's really for the three principles coaching community. So we'll see if we'll see how many uh, people in that community like wearing t-shirts. <laughs> Excellent. I also did a thing yesterday. So I shared in our Thriving Coaches Blueprint group on Facebook a post. I just said, hey, I had a, my best two days coaching since I started this because I had two calls on Tuesday and then I had my group call yesterday morning. Mm -hmm. um, and I said, I'm getting good feedback. I wanted to share. Here's the coaching model that I designed for my retail manager's course. So the, the coaching model is just a triangle that's coaching paradigm, coaching culture, and listening. Those are the elements in the model. And then I said, I also created this calibration worksheet, which I got good feedback on in my other course. If anyone's interested, let me know and 
four people have DM me on Messenger asking me for the, the PDF. So, I don't know, getting some, some interest in some things. It's bound to happen. Yeah. Something's bound to happen. Yeah. I, I, I got to, I keep distracting myself. I don't know why, but like, I got to get, today is my app day. I got to work on that. Uh, ordering yeah. app. It's been happening to me. I mean, I have a, I have an excuse, or I mean, if you want to use an excuse, but I also have bullet points sitting on my table uh, of things that I, I want to complete and get off my plate before um, and get into the a different routine and a different rhythm. Yeah. Uh, so I can't get to them, and I feel I feel really bad because it uh, it almost weighs on me. But at the same time, there's something that's something that's holding me back from doing it because yeah. I remember the days when it was just, just get out of bed behind the computer. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, but I'll get to them. I'll get to them slowly, but surely. Yeah. I was saying that uh, one of Jamie's things is, you know, everyone's always doing what makes sense to them at their current level of understanding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And whether that's, you know, uh, us doing what we're doing or not doing in our business or a heroin addict doing heroin, everyone's doing what makes sense to them at their current level of understanding. So it's, uh, here's a question. So what are we going to do on Monday? I forgot to ask you that yesterday. Um, I don't know. Let's do you want to put the Trello board up and we can look. Oh, that reminds me, I got an email um, from some company. I didn't really, I don't know if you've ever heard of these people. It's, uh, it's a, the email says, claim your podcast. And it's from Reason. Either you or an avid or curious fan asked for you to claim your re space on Reason, the social podcast platform. Upon claiming, you will have access to the best community engagement, comments, likes, chats, and listeners. So I don't know if this is like some scraping. Yeah, this is exactly this is exactly the same thing I've done with the listings. Yeah. So I don't know if it's worth putting it on another. Uh, well, not at this time. I mean, not not with only two episodes. I mean, if, if there is a platform for us, so we can we can figure out what it is. Yeah. It's not not you. You want to have some sort of a semblance of content. Imagine yeah. somebody. Imagine somebody likes it. So listening to the two episodes takes less than an hour. Yeah. So let's let's get let's get let's keep the email. Yeah, I will. So what do we want to do? <sighs> What do you feel like doing? Is you're up next. Um. <clears throat> I kind of like uh, no pressure, no diamonds. Even though th th these ones were kind of like they're supposed to have the bullshit stamp on them, so the the premise isn't that no pressure, no diamonds is is. Uh, is real it's actually the opposite mm -hmm. my position um well i i got i got a good name for it then then we're gonna call it debunking how's this yeah that's good All right. All right. We'll do that one. Do you know what your what your lead in is going to be? I'll uh, I'll write it and I'll add some stuff to the card today. Okay. Okay. Good. So that's that's up next coming up. Based on our uh, conversation yesterday, I shared that Metro listing with somebody. 
see if they're interested. So I'm gonna, yeah. I got a funny. Uh, I have this funny feeling that it's 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 um. There's no uh, kind of. Uh, you would expect that uh, you would feel like the weight's been lifted off your shoulders, or uh, happiness, uh, any 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 emotion, but complete and utter. Uh, this is yeah. Yeah. Well, it's funny because I mean that the the other one on that Trello board I was contemplating was the um, you need something to happen in order to be happy, right? Like we that's this that's the world we live in, which sells us that line that in order to be happy you need to buy something, you need to get the right job, you need to get a promotion, you need to make a certain amount of money, yeah, and it's all bullshit. <laughs> That would be a good one. And you know what? We can combine it with do expensive things and make you successful or happy. Yeah. Because I wanna I wanna bring in uh I can I can I can do a bit of a rant about uh, the philosophy that uh supersedes everything in Russia. Yeah. And that's 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 strictly focused on the material, the brands, the it's um, yes. quite disturbing actually. Yeah. Well. It's funny. There's just as many miserable rich people as there are miserable poor people. So, that is a fact. That is a fact. In fact, uh, because because there are fewer uh, rich people, and the proportion with which they get uh, miserable is the same. I would argue that percentage-wise, there are more uh, disenchanted uh, rich people than yeah. there are poor people. What's that old uh, rap song? More money, more problems. I ha- I don't by uh, P Diddy, Mace. <laughs> anyway, it's funny. Did yeah? I, I was I saw some post yesterday on Shaquille O'Neal. Yep, They're trying to sell his mansion, and I think it's in Miami or somewhere. But it's he had it listed for twenty eight million or something. A couple yep. it's been on the market for a couple of years. It's down to sixteen million. But it's like it's thirty thousand square feet. It's got like a full size gymnasium in it. Um, they're, they're actually the the story was about they're they're de shackifying it. So they're like they thought that the fact that it was Shaquille O'Neal's and had a lot of his Shaquille O'Neal personal touches in it would be a selling feature. Yeah, but it's in fact it's it hasn't worked out that way. So now they're they're taking all his like Shaquille O'Neal stuff out of there. <laughs> to try and appeal to a broader audience. It's a pretty limited market though. I got to imagine for, you know, spending 16, 20 million dollars on a home, but uh, and and where is this home? I, I thought it was in Miami, but I could be wrong. Anyway, it's it's somewhere down in the south in the states. And then and then I look at uh, I was just looking through uh, some of the listings and how, how many Five million, like what? What did you say? Sixteen million was it worth? Sixteen, yeah. Okay, twenty million plus homes in the GTA there are, and this is this is what this is what perplexes me. It's the GTA. It's not um, California. Yeah. So how? Hold up. I actually want to see how much how many there are. It's it's. Why would people spend that much money in with our winters? I don't know. Well, I know, like, if you ever driven down Lakeshore, like through Oakville, <clears throat> yep, like all those giant mansions right on the the waterfront. I mean, they're all beautiful, and it's you know you're on the water and stuff. But I don't know okay. if I was going to spend that kind of money. There's a lot more things I'd I'd be thinking of spending that money on yeah. than that. So I just zoomed out. Okay, I'll just uh, you know what I'm just going to share this. Uh, this uh, this is so this is realtor. There are 32 listings in excess of a 20 million dollar price point in what we know as the GTA. One yeah. of them is in Guelph. Is that like a whole complex in Guelph? What is that? I don't know. Let's take a look. Yeah, this is something, some industrial site. Hmm. Okay, so this is not fair. See here, land, 
more land. Like, yeah, $22 million buys you a little castle in uh, Oakville. There's nine in, like, look at this. 45 million. <laughs> so even if you, even if this was 15 listings, which it is not. Yeah. Why on earth would you spend that money here? And why on earth is this sound? Yeah. Anywho, that's, it's fun. Well, I think, I think though that the, it's like, the people that can afford such a place, yeah, a twenty million dollar home to them is like it's not even the equivalent of what our homes are to us as a proportion of our wealth. I would imagine so. You know, it's like I, I was driving down the highway. Um, was it yesterday or no, the day before? Taking my dad to the doctor up by Sherway Gardens, and uh, here I am in my Camaro on the QW, and what pulls up beside me, like. Uh, uh, I think it was a Ferrari and he kind of like came up beside me and then he just went and like took off. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, his car is worth probably 10 times what my car is. Mostly. But like who, who wants to tie that, like, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars up in a car. In, in a depreciating asset, by the way. Yeah. yeah. And, and those cars, especially if bought new, God forbid, they, their price is punched like a rock. Yeah. And, That's fine. and then on the way home, we saw a, uh, a Porsche yeah. that, I'd never, that I'd never seen before. It was, it was like a Porsche supercar. It, it kind of looked like the, uh, the old Batmobile. Like it had, um, I don't know, it had a big spoiler on it, but it, uh, at the back of the seats, it was like a, sh a shape like behind the driver. Yep. Yeah, uh, on both the drivers and the passenger side. I, I don't know what kind of Porsche it was, but again, I, I was imagining was well, that's, that's, uh, that's probably a two or three hundred thousand dollar Porsche. Know. It's a what? It's probably a two or three hundred thousand dollar Porsche. I think you might be mistaken. Um, so it, it wasn't anything I'd ever seen before. It wasn't a nine eleven or a or a Boxster. Or, It was this one. I thought it was a 938, but it's not a 938. I don't know my Porsches, to be honest. Um, it's, what's it called? Nine eighteen. That's the thing. Are you uh, are you thinking of this? Yeah, that looks uh, that looks like it. There was also, but yeah. this one's. Um, what are those worth? Uh, Two fifty, I would imagine. Hold on, hold on. There's. Um, yeah, it was that's, a silver. That's one. not that's not the one I was thinking about. I was thinking about this one, but it's it's. If you saw that, that is terribly rare. I never seen one before. I've only seen pictures of it, not not in the flesh. Uh, hold on. And it was funny because we're we were like in uh, bumper to bumper traffic. Yeah, that's it's, like it's, that. It's, that car is not made to be in traffic. It needs no. it wants the open road. Yeah, indeed. Uh, here, production began. Uh, it says the starting price is uh, nine hundred forty-five thousand U.S. dollars. Which one? The one the nine nine eighteen Spider. Oh yeah, 918 Spider. That's is that the one? I think so. Yeah, this is the one I was thinking of. Yeah, that's what we saw. Okay, a million dollars, eh? Yeah. There you go. You're driving. You're driving in what could have been your uh, home. Yeah. You're driving in that, and some clown in a fifteen thousand dollar Toyota is gonna fucking rear end you. 
Yeah. <laughs> because the, the car that hits you isn't even worth what your wheels are worth, probably. Yeah, that's true. It's um, it's it's like uh, what is it? It's it's I think it's a it's a McLaren uh, that's being sold for some ridiculous like multi million dollar vehicle yeah. uh, to service it. So first of all, the owner cannot open the the compartment where the engine is, and it's yeah. that's done on purpose. Um, and to service it, it costs roughly forty three thousand dollars to service it. Wow. I have I play hockey with a guy who's quite well off, like a self-made millionaire, I guess. But he uh, he has a bunch of cars, but he has a, a Rolls Royce. Um, I forget the name of it, but he, he he occasionally would drive it to hockey. Anyway, he came to the game one time, and uh, some hockey mom in a minivan backed into him. <laughs> no. And uh, I don't think it was a lot of damage, but it was like you know on that car, like even a minor scrape or dent is you know it's like a, probably tens of thousands of dollars so it's manual salary for some yeah so he, he was not happy but i mean who you know it's kind of served them right for why do you drive your like luxury sports car to the hockey rink it's... <laughs> exactly exactly okay all right well i think um uh... I think that will be it for today. I'm going to go get uh, get all the documents in place so we can go see the lawyer and uh, see how today progresses. And now I need to move a, a book, a moving company. Fun times. <laughs> Fun times, indeed. Choose wisely. Yeah. All right. We'll Take see you tomorrow. All right. Bye-bye. Bye.